Hey. So today I'm going to be cooking one of my uh, favorite Asian cuisines, which is uh, cashew chicken. Some people might be confused that cashew chicken is actually a Thai dish or a Chinese dish. I would say it's a my dish. <laughs> Whatever goes inside my tummy is my dish. <laughs> so this is my version of a cashew chicken. Um, so usually when people prepare cashew chicken, uh, some people do marinate it. But for me, I I lightly uh, salt the chicken first. So I have already salted my chicken for about half an hour already. I just added a pinch of salt and then I soak inside uh, lean pieces of chicken meat. And then uh, here are my dishes that uh, is going to be added inside my 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 cashew chicken. Most important thing is uh, some veggies, which is for the coloring. And I also love to eat uh, bell pickles. Uh, not bell pickles, bell peppers. Yeah. It gives a very nice color. And I have onions and I have shallots. I have also sugar, and this is uh, soy sauce, and this dark soy sauce. And also, uh, we will need some um, corn flour for the starch, and then uh, chopped garlic, and chopped onions, and a bit of vinegar, and this is red chili. And one of my favorites is uh, rice wine. <laughs> Without this, I can't cook. <laughs> so we'll be back in a while. It's time to do the mixing part. Okay, I love doing this thing because it's kind of like doing Play-Doh. First of all, I'm going to be adding a light soy sauce inside my sauce. And then after that, I'm going to add a thick sauce, which is the black sauce. It's the black sauce. I'm going to thicken this one up. And then we do a little stir first because I need to make sure all the meat is with the sauce and then next day maybe there's a bit of black sauce I'm gonna add inside some more uh, haha, make it crispy and black and then I add some sugar so I mean ingredients are already inside let's mix this one all up first and then once it's all mixed, especially the sugar needs to digest or dissolve first until we see all the nice coloring. Then we add the cornstarch. Let's do a little bit by a bit. And then we mix, mix this up. Mix this one up and add a bit more doing it stages so that it doesn't clump too much because uh, you might be overdoing it when there's too much of uh, starch involved as cornstarch tends to thicken up the sauce very easily so i usually do it in batches i don't want to flood my my flour too fast it's gonna cause everything to clump up so Mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing. So it's gonna turn a, into a slightly brownish color. And then we just keep on doing this until my flour mixture is done. Until we have this consistency like a play doh or something like that. <laughs> yeah. And then. So that's the consistency. It's almost all done. And then we leave it to rest. Back in a while. So I have already prepared uh, to oil up my air fryer because I'm going to be frying this. <laughs> I don't want to create a mess inside my tiny little kitchen. So I always use an air fryer to refry everything that uh, is going to be fried. Uh, so to, produce, to reduce this oil uh, thing inside my kitchen. So uh, I added this uh, breadcrumbs because I wanted to add more crispiness. So first of all, I take this, I batter it up here. And I fluff you and fluff and I fluff you up. And then I put it inside my air fryer. One by one. I add. I add into my breadcrumbs. 
Oh, this looks so beautiful. One piece at a time. Add my breadcrumbs. You can add more if you want, but I think that's enough for my for my frying. So <laughs> this is not a, your typical average uh, version of cashew chicken. Okay, this is my version, which is a bit of a crispy version. I'm not sure if you're familiar with <laughs> crispiness. So this is my version, which I love crispy stuff. And I hate to do it inside a frying pan, which is going to crisp up my whole kitchen and make it super oily. Like the other time when I was cooking, um, I was cooking, I was cooking um, um, pork belly, and I had to fry the pork, and it made the whole kitchen so oily. It was kind of annoying to clean back again. I had to get all these ingredients to. To redo that okay so um it's kind of my air fry is not that big so i can only like put a few chunks here so i'll come back in a while again after frying my first batch and show you guys what's the result see my beautiful voila Aha! See my crispy air fry chicken is for my ketchup chicken. <laughs> so it's uh, now it's quite golden brown, and I had to refry it again inside my mini pot. And don't forget just now the gravy that we used to make the sauce. Don't throw it away because it's going to be added back inside. So I'm using my tiny little uh, electric pot to fry everything. If I can a while. Okay, after a day's work, not a day's work, like just a few hours of cooking, and the preparation took me about uh, uh, one and a half hours to one hour, I guess two hours, and then cooking time was about uh, 10, 20 minutes, and then prep preparation took me about like another another 10 minutes and so. So let's try and see how uh, how nice is the the meat. Eh? I'll try the cashew. Oh my goodness, it's so soft like butter. Eh? Mm. Oh, spicy some more. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love it. So my version of cashew chicken. Okay. Oh, my oh I love the buttery flavor. This is not oh my my version. Oh maybe I'll best. Okay. So far I love it. Over and up.